Hello again, everybody. This is Sensei Jerry Valido once again from the Valido Academy of Martial Arts here in beautiful Burbank, California. Welcome back to E to the Three. What we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at a very, very simple method of avoiding and redirecting somebody's uh, motion or movement towards you. Okay, once again, with the help of my son Anthony. I'm going to kind of demonstrate what I was talking about a second ago. So let's say he comes in to shove me on my, on my chest, okay? Or he comes in with a two-hand push, okay? Or he comes in to grab my throat with one hand, okay? Or he comes in with two hands to grab my throat, okay? Or he just cranks up his fist and he comes to slowly throw a punch at me, okay? Where this would travel in a straight line. So all these movements are straight line movements. Anthony is standing at 12 o'clock. To my left is 9 o'clock, to my right is 3 o'clock, and behind me would be 6 o'clock. So, if he comes at me with his right hand, I want to move to approximately 10 o'clock. That's my first movement with my feet. So let's say he comes to shove me with his right hand, okay? okay? As he comes in to shove, I want to move out of the way to about 10 o'clock. Okay? But now, I'm going to utilize my hands to help me out here. So, ABCs of self-defense, uh, ABCs of personal protection. A means avoid. Avoid meaning to evade, get out of the way. B is to block. Okay? Now, blocking is a large category. Under the category of blocking, we have something called parries. Okay? And a parry is nothing more than a soft movement with the hand that is going to redirect your opponent's motion towards you, okay? In this case, I just kind of want to think of waving. Just this motion right here. Hello, goodbye. Okay, very easy, okay? And I'm going to use this in concert with my footwork step. So, once again, as he comes to push, I'm going to step to 10 o'clock, and I'm just going to move him. I'm going to pass him. Let's say he comes with two hands to the throat. Same thing. This time I went to the other side. I stepped out on an angle, roughly to about 10 o'clock, and I used my hand. The front foot equates to the front hand. So if I'm stepping with the right foot, I'm going to use my right hand. If I'm stepping with the left foot, I'm going to use my left hand. And all I'm going to do as he comes in is I'm going to wave. So he's going to try and touch me on my patch. Okay? That's the movement I'm trying to avoid. So he tries to touch me on my patch, that's what I'm going to do. Now, from there, I can just run. Maybe I don't want to engage this guy. So he comes to shove me, and I'm gone. It's a very short motion. It doesn't have to be huge. And as I do it, so once again, slowly, I'm coming sort of on top. My fingers are together. My thumb opens up. It's kind of like a C where I'm kind of cupping and guiding his hand and, and passing him away from me. He comes to punch me. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. I'm getting my head out of the way. This is the target. He comes to punch me. I'm going to get my head out of the way. When you're stepping either to your 10 o'clock or your 2 o'clock, okay, turn your shoulders. Turn your foot in the direction you want to go and just walk that way. Very simple. Just turn and walk that way, okay? Front, front foot, front hand. And that's how you can practice it. Front foot, front hand, that's it. Front foot, front hand. Keep the other hand up to help cover. If you have any questions, any comments, any requests, please feel free to call me or email me uh, at the email address you see on the screen here. And thank you again for watching. And uh, we will see you on another installment later on down the road. Eat of the three. Make it happen.